you want to pull it up if you want to call the police i mean i see public utilities right there going up to you further than what we are i would encourage you to reconsider that and i would also encourage you to um, reconsider why you are asking fellow brothers and yes. sisters in christ to get off your property yes yes uh, listen I, like i said i agree with i i agree with uh uh, your purpose. Would you sign our petition uh, then? Uh, no, I can't do that. I, I can't. Why can't you do that? Um, it would be a conflict of interest. What are For, you talking about? How would that be a conflict of interest? Because, because I work here. This is my job. And for me to come up here and sign this petition. Hello, sir. Here's, here's now the issue. Here's now the issue. You have people trying to get in and out. And you have all of your stopping traffic. That's, that's, not, that's not what you need. Well, yeah, it is going to be able to block traffic. And I don't think you can block traffic. that far <laughs> Uh oh. You didn't ask anybody who they voted for, did you? No. No. Okay. They said they're getting complaints about. We're just getting complaints. <laughs> That's funny. No, you asking people if they drive up here on a sign of the and abortion. Okay. That's about it. Sure. Thank you, officer. Yeah, you guys have a good day. It's windy. Oh, I it's know. freezing. <laughs> I was thinking about that. You have a good day. Thank you guys have a good day. Thank you. That's not good. What is it? Wire from something. All right, Bye, guys. Have a good day. Bye. God doesn't hear the prayers of the unrighteous, so make sure you're in right standing with Him. Oh, I am more than in right standing with Him. Are you 100% sure where you're going to go when you die? Oh, I'm more than 100% sure. What do you What do you think? What do you base your salvation on? My salvation is yes. based on my daily walk with Christ. It's based on my baptism. It's based on my intimate relationship with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That same thing that I teach to my kids. The same thing that I teach them about how we interact with the community. The fact that. There are more problems inside of our society right now other than abortion, such as people's addiction to pornography, such as things that we have problems with on the internet, other people's addictions, people's inability to remove themselves from the current society's life that they have and go back to the roots of the foundation with their relationship with God. Do you believe and you're a good person? I believe that I am a great person, but I believe that I am a sinner. And I believe that every day I have to ask for God's help and I have to seek his hand in my relationship with him to avoid my sin every day because unfortunately I am human and I don't have the ability to be without sin like Jesus was. Well, he does say to be sinless as I am or to be perfect as I am. But right. um, but we can we can strive for that, but we all know that we will fail because we are humans mm -hmm. and unfortunately we lack that perfection that he had. So that's think, why I have to Do you think he deserved to go to heaven? Day. Do I deserve to uh -huh. go to heaven? Everybody deserves to go to heaven. Well, that should be I their path. That should be everybody's path is to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Everybody well, should yeah, seek but that. Do we Everybody deserve should deserve it? that. You said if we're sinners, though, how, how would we deserve to go to heaven? Well, because we seek that relationship with Christ, and and even though we've sinned, we can still repent our sins. Mm -hmm. Do you believe you've kept the Ten Commandments? Oh yes. Have you ever told a lie? 
So you want to engage in my personal relationship with Clyde. Well, I'm just asking you well, if you've you ever Rebecca? told a lie. I have told a lie. Okay. So, so have so you told a lie? Absolutely. So what do we call people that tell lies? Well, I don't know. You tell me. What do you call a person that tells a lie? Because I call that well, person, I, I call that person a sinner. Well, but more they can specifically seek. though, a liar, right? No, I don't call them a liar. Someone who tells lies, you don't call them a liar? No. What do you call them? I just told you, a sinner. Okay, so have you ever taken uh, something that wasn't yours? Ever stole? Nope. Never once in your life? As a child? Anytime. Sure. And when we steal, what, what do we call people that steal? Sinners. So when you arrest someone for theft, you call them a sinner? It's not my job to judge them, though. Okay, but if someone rapes a woman, they're a rapist, right? That's a fact, no, right? No, why would we label somebody? Someone that rapes a woman, you wouldn't call them a rapist? No, why would the I, law, why would I call the them The law a labels them. No, the law if someone call murders them a rapist. someone, then they're a murderer. That's what well, that's, the law states. No, no, see, that's what society places on that person. But that's not how God sees that person. Mm -hmm. So, what's your name again? Your first name, Charles? No, it would be Christopher. Christopher. So, Chris, you said you've told lies. That makes you a liar, whether uh -huh. you choose to right. call yourself a liar or not. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, have you ever looked with lust outside of marriage? Maybe the person that you're married to Wait, now. Where are we you going with, with this, Rebecca? That we violated God's law. Right. And that we're all guilty and we deserve Absolutely. punishment. We deserve punishment. We deserve hell because we violated God's law. His standard of goodness. And man will profess his own goodness, and it sounds like that's kind of like what you're doing. You're saying you've never broken God's commandments, that you're a great person, no, that you, you deserve you to go I've to heaven. No, you said I've never broken his commandments. I, no, you, you're you're. I you're asked you if you wrong. kept you're, the Ten Commandments, and you said yes. Okay, so what you're telling me is that because someone commits a sin, mm -hmm. they go to hell? That's what we deserve, yes. It doesn't okay. mean that's where they're going, but okay. that's where we so, deserve so, so, to go. So, so people can't... People can't repent and, and seek they, the, the they, mercy of Christ? Sure, they can. And we encourage them to do that, to repent but, and trust in Christ. Uh -huh. But it doesn't mean that we then deserve to go to heaven. It just means that God has provided a way do for us to go purgatory? to heaven. No, I don't. Okay. The Bible doesn't teach anything about purgatory. It oh. teaches about heaven and oh, hell. Goodness. Is there a scripture verse that you can goodness. cite that talks about Rebecca, purgatory? Goodness, you, you know what? You guys, I, Rebecca, this is silly. But can this you can you cite picture. me a scripture that that talks about purgatory? What do you, why do you want me to cite you a scripture about? Because purgatory? you're believing in something a hundred percent, and yes. you're not you're not even. Oh, but you, but Rebecca, there's so much more than what you've been taught here. Well, do you believe what the Bible teaches? Yes. Okay, it says that all liars will not have their part in the lake that burns with fire. No thief, no fornicator, no adulterer mm -hmm. will inherit the kingdom of God. And I'm concerned for your soul. I don't want you to die well, and go to well, hell. Well, then, then pray for me as I pray for you. Because if, if your viewpoint is that when someone commits a sin, that they're destined for hell. They deserve hell. Okay. Not that they're destined for hell. They deserve hell. Okay. Just like someone who murders someone, they deserve to go to prison. You know, they deserve to get the just punishment for the crime yeah. that they committed. We, we have very different religious beliefs than Rebecca. Well, we I really would agree do. with and, you. And, I, and you're not going to pivot my standpoint on it. You started this conversation with asking where I stand out of my relationship with Christ and why I believe that and I told you and unfortunately I'm not going to engage in the whole no you're wrong about your relationship with Christ because I'm I'm confident in my relationship with him and where I'm at and, and there's nothing but that I just want to challenge that. you because in the Bible it says to examine ourselves daily to make sure that we're in the faith yeah. and we want to make sure we don't want to play Absolutely. Russian roulette well, you with know, our that, soul that ex examination should be done not just daily but throughout the entire day so and every step that we take, we should have that examination. Right, We right. should have that examination in our engagement right. with people. I mean, I, while we drive down the road, it, I should, would it agree. should take part every moment of every right. day. Right, it shouldn't just, just be on Sundays, but yeah, every well, not, single not day. Just, not only right. on Sundays, but not just at the end of the day. Right, I would agree with you. every step that we make. Right. Can I take, say so. something, honestly? Um, yeah. So, I do think there's some miscommunication going on about sin. And, mm -hmm. you know, she's saying that people deserve hell if they've mm -hmm. sinned. And you seem to be interpreting, oh, if you sin, you go to hell, and there's no chance of forgiveness. I think we agree on that. That right. everybody sins, and, and that, therefore everybody deserves hell, um, and there's forgiveness right. in Christ. Uh -huh. um, but I think the disagreement is coming with, or at least from what I've heard, from what I've heard you say, mm -hmm. is that there's some things that you feel are necessary in one's relationship with Christ 
um, that are substantive, that are foundational, um, that we don't have and that isn't talked about in Scripture. And so we're very weary of things that aren't talked about in Scripture and prescribed to God's people in Scripture, such as praying to someone other than God, mm -hmm. um, such as um, purgatory, believing in things that mm -hmm. are, are not clearly spoken of in the, in the Bible. Yeah. Um, but yeah, particularly the thing I would encourage you to do is find out why you're praying to someone other than Jesus Oh, I know. Christ. I know very well why I utilize yeah. the saints in my intercessions and my prayers through them. Yeah. So, because, because, because we know right that they are in heaven. Jesus Christ. Right now, they are, all they are doing is worshiping and serving Jesus Christ. Yep. They are dead, and yep. Jesus Christ is alive, and um, he is the one we are supposed to make our supplications to. You don't see anybody praying to anybody well, in see, Scripture. See, that's where, that's, see, that's where you, you have a little bit of misunderstanding of that. Okay. Where, where do we see that? Exactly? Well, you, you're, you're saying that you're, you're praying to them. Okay? You just said that. You, yeah, you, it's you, intercession that, through you, them. So right. we know that they're in communion with Christ. We know that they're in heaven. So, I mean, do you not ever call your mom and ask for help? Or call your dad and ask yes, for help? Yes, they're alive. Or do you, ever, do you ever ask someone to pray for you? Yes, but they're alive. Okay. They're so not, so you don't believe dead. that they're in communion with Christ? I believe they're in communion with okay. Christ. Okay. So, so why? That but, doesn't mean that I, I can't. And that's where I disagree. So where do you see, where, what would you consider divination in the Old Testament where it says you can be put to death for speaking to dead people? So We're trying to make contact with the dead. So, so, so Where they the are because difference? they are in heaven, and we know that they're in heaven with Christ. Mm -hmm. You don't believe that we can engage in prayer with them, right? I don't think you right? can. I don't think God ever teaches that you can speak to somebody who's dead. Okay. He says you can speak to him. Okay. And his his son Jesus Christ was dead sure. and was resurrected, and you see people in the New oh. Testament praying to Jesus Christ because he's God. Mm. And he's the son of God and he's the resurrected king and oh. he's our king right now and he's yeah. ruling and reigning. Sure. But you never, ever see someone speaking to a dead person and practicing medium like that those oh. are mediums in the well, old you're, testament. You're missing divination. out on so much awesome stuff. It, it's but it's sin. The okay. awesome stuff you're well, talking about is, is sin, and it's called divination. Okay. And it's called um, sorcery. And, 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 and that is going to be your belief and standpoint people. on that, and I disagree with you. Well, I mean, I but I think you're but there's only one that. truth. You're, you're not going to sway well, I mean, me on would, this. I, I would just like okay. to ask you, what, what's the difference you see then between you praying to somebody who's dead and somebody in the Old Testament praying to someone who's dead? And one was prescribed to kill them because they're so evil and uh -huh. they're bringing evil evil upon Israel. Uh -huh. And God considered it so vile that he said to stone them. He said that those people who, who practice that sorcery ought to be put to death. What's the difference you see between that kind of talking to dead people and what you, you practice? Okay, so... Here's I just want to know the difference. The, the, there's, a, there's a big difference, man. Okay. We, we already said that they're saints in their communion with Christ. But the, the Old Testament made no distinction about who you're praying okay. to. It just said that you're praying to a dead person. Okay, but see, that's just it. I'm, I disagree with you. About okay. what? I just... Every bit About of what? The Old Testament is very clear. If you pray okay. to a dead person, it doesn't say Matt, if you pray to an evil dead you, person. You want me to engage in, in confrontation once again? You don't have an answer. No, I do. I already answered it three times. You want you me say, well, You want me to change saints. my answer, Matt. You said because but they're saints. No, Matt, you want me to change my answer. Okay. It's not going to happen. The Old Testament makes no distinction between saints and uh, evil people. You can't pray to either of them. Do you have a Christian background? What's that? Do you have a Christian background? I do. Do you believe what the Bible says is true? I do. Do you believe you're going to go to heaven when you die, or where do you believe you're going to go? I know I'm going to heaven when I die. And what, what are you putting your trust in? fact that I know. Well, even the demons know and tremble, the Bible says, You're because they fear right. God, right. but they're not going to heaven. So it takes right. more than just knowledge. Okay. So what are you basing your salvation on? Like if, here's another way to say it. Like if you were to die today and stand before God and God were to say, uh, Mr. Ellis, why should I let you into my heaven? Well, what he would say is, he would say, well done, that good and faithful servant. Mm -hmm. Because I know that my soul is in right standing. She's asking, well, how do you know that? Like, I know. Yeah. What? What? The reason I'm choosing not to answer that question is because your 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 ask is a very confrontational ask, and maybe I misunderstood in that, but it is a very common confrontational position that you're asking because it's asking from a position of you assuming that I don't know, and that well, uh, that if the, someone were to me, ask let me, explain, me, let me explain. Yes. Because you asked me the question, okay? And so the reason I'm saying that. I can tell you with all confidence that I know, because I've searched the scriptures, because I know, period. If you That's, had a best friend, though, that said, how do I get to heaven, what would you tell them? I would explain it to them exactly according with the word of God. 
So which I, is so so I think I think what's going on is you know you sense some contention because we were contentious with him and we disagree about praying to dead people, but you you're, you're not wanting to get into the specifics of that and, you, and I understand how. Well, it, I'm not going to get into theology and, and certain things like that <laughs> simply because right now my vocation is where my focus is. I understand, and I'm in contact with you because of that. I, now, yeah. if you want to, but God's sovereign and He orchestrated this, this meeting. Absolutely, and, right. Now, here, here's another thing. When you take the position that certain things are wrong and just one specific aspect of what people do is wrong and you have that position, that's all fine and good to, to be a champion for that. The problem I have is we are all sinners. Right. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Amen. Absolutely. So here, here's, my, here's my issue with why I say I feel like it's a very confrontational ask for you is because none of us 100% line up and meet the mark that Jesus established when he walked on this earth. Right. None of us do. If that was the case, when you want to reference the Old Testament to the New Testament, let's talk about the mixing of linings and the clothing, clothing and the things that we do right now that every single person in our modern so society gets wrong. Right, that was a little Hang bit on. different because that was Hang ceremonial on. and that had to do with uh, them. Like, that was actually Culture a pagan ritual loss. at that time. Absolutely. Uh, but, but the talking to dead people was actually a moral And, and I that, don't have the same belief as Mr. Brew. Right. Okay. Right. So, but understand you have to refine the way you approach an individual because you have the tendency, and I'm telling you just based on this ex experience and this exchange, to turn people off to something that they absolutely need. To so the truth all I'm that they asking actually... is where you are going to go when you die. And I answered the question. So, I told right, you that right, I definitively gotta, know for sure that I'm going to heaven, you that my soul is going to rest in heaven. You what you have to understand yeah. is when you want to champion people for, for Christ mm. and you want to promote the kingdom and establish it here on the earth the way we are mandated to do, uh -huh. you have to do it in a position that is not confrontational. Because when it, it comes off as confrontational, it leaves a bad taste in people. Do you think mouth. Jesus was confrontational? I think when he needed to be, he absolutely was. Right, right. I don't think at all times his forefront, the, the, the position that he put forward, was a confrontational. Right. Remember the rich young right. ruler came to him and asked how he could receive eternal life. Yeah. And Jesus asked him if he kept the commandments. Mm -hmm. And he said, I had kept them since my youth. Well, Jesus know, knew yeah. his heart that he had violated the law. Okay, but do you know in your heart my life from my youth? No, but that's Because you're leading asking. with the same question. Well, well she knows you've sinned. So yeah, right. Absolutely. So, you know, so we know you've sinned. So here's the thing is like, you're, you're a stranger to us. Mm -hmm. we, we want, we ask those questions because we are trying to gauge where you're at. We're trying to gauge okay does he like does he know about grace does he know is about he trusting in his own righteousness to get to heaven or is he trusting to in christ a person mm -hmm. is to ask him hey do you know jesus well, that, well we it's were, an awesome question because well, that's every, not what you said we all know church. jesus yeah. sure, right we live in america people, but people know the term people know the name people relegating and and can but refer are they serving under, jesus abs that's are they being what obedient to jesus man the question you have to the, the point i'm trying to make to you is your posture is so literally offensive that a person is not going to want to engage with you i am and i'm spending the time with you because i am a devout christian i love jesus i have a relationship with him and i know for a fact where my soul is going to spend eternity i preach it i witness it but right now that's not the position i'm in but because of the because we have this exchange well the, sim the simple answer that i was looking for was when we repent when we turn away from our sin and when we commit our lives to him when we surrender to him so are you looking for a script for a per from a person that you just no, asked a random sir, question what the bible says in order to be saved we must repent and believe first you have to confess your sins right right, right? It's, and it doesn't it's, say it's repent part and believe. Of, he says if you that was the first thing that Jesus said. That was the first thing he ever preached was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Absolutely. And repentance means to turn away from and sin. And it does right. include a confession. Absolutely. Okay? It, does, it does include a confession. you got to confess your sin before you can turn away from it. Sure. Um, but Because you've got to acknowledge where you are. Right. Here's, here's what I want you to get real quick. Is like I get what you're saying, how it seems like we're coming across confrontational. This conversation took place after we were arguing about 20 minutes about, sure. about where to stand with sign sure. and stuff. Um, and, then we, and then I was... He was trying to tell me that, you know, and you were, you were silent during this, but he's trying to tell me how it's okay and, and how he, he speaks to God by speaking to dead people. And and we were trying to work with him through that. And so now you got to understand, we've talked to a lot of people who call themselves Christians, mm -hmm. a lot of people who at the abortion clinic, killing their children. Yep. Oh, God's going to forgive me for this. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I love you.